Hi, I'm Barbara Bray. I think I know you. You're that awesome teacher that has really excited everybody about your passion and why you love teaching. I know not everyone has that, but we need to be awesome. I have some teachers that call me and tell me that they're really not sure if they can stay in the profession. And I went over this about finding your passion and finding your purpose. It's something we need to all do. But sometimes, you know, some teachers just, they're, they're cool. They can show that they can be cool. But sometimes that awesome person that they can be just doesn't happen right away. Sometimes it's because the system gets in the way and all the things that they have to do. And Well, let's talk about passion and purpose. I want to be able to go over this in the session and kind of explain the difference because, you know, purpose, it's about why you get up in the morning. What is the exciting thing that you feel about this feeling that you are going to work on your purpose today? That passion is that intrinsic motivation to do this. So we talk about purpose. It's, I decided to kind of go over what Simon Sinek does with the golden circle. And he talks about starting with the why. And some people don't know why. It's, it's hard to find it. But think about yourself. Are you doing the same thing every day? Do you feel like you're living your life as it happens? It's not really, you're out of control. You don't have control of it. So what we want to do is get that back so you can live your life on purpose. And to do that, sometimes you need that passion. So I remember the speech from Steve Jobs when he did it at Stanford's commencement in uh, 2005. And he said, people with passion change the world for the better. And when te teachers are passionate and share what their interests are and share what they do, it's very exciting for the kids. And it's modeling what they can do. And he said one more thing. He said, what makes your heart sing? And I want to talk about that with you. I'll give you some examples. I'll share what other teachers have done and what other people have told me in my podcast. Many people have been lost. We, this happens in our lives. It's like we're not really sure if we're doing the right thing. So sometimes we have to pull ourselves back and figure out what that is. So we're going to talk about that. And one way I did it is by using Ikigai. Ikigai is the Japanese concept for the meaning for life. And when you look at what makes, you know, what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs, and your value, if you pull all of this together, you find that ikigai, which is actually your purpose. And in doing that, you are identifying your passion. So with this, I want to be able to bring this together and show you in a, in a short presentation, but make you think about these things and even reflect on them and talk about it because this is something that is so important for you but also modeling for your kids and it brings that agency it builds the relationships it tells the stories all of it is it's like you're building this culture of trust and joy it's just wonderful so let's all be awesome together vote for me vote for my session and i will see you soon at south by southwest thank you